So then, folks, here we are. Uh, fans at football is fi are finally back. It's been a long time since we've been able to say that. Today we are off to Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Manchester United for Nuno's final game in charge of the club. Now, I really didn't expect to be saying that uh, when we were when I had a ticket, when I was able to purchase a ticket for the game. But um, today, Talking Walls are going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, me and Matt are both uh, very lucky to be able to go to the game today, um, but we're sitting opposite ends of the of the stadium, so we're going to be giving both of our per perspectives and uh, putting it into one video. Wolves versus Manchester United final game of the season, four o'clock kickoff. It's been a terrible season, really, hasn't it? It's been a, it's been uninspiring to say the least. I think I've definitely felt really, really kind of disengaged with it and distant with with, with, uh, with Wolves this season. I think poor football and, and not being able to go is really, I think a lot of fans are like that. I think the club have dealt, obviously, with the whole situation fairly well. I think the only downside really is the tickets. The cost, I think, is a little bit too steep. But uh, other than that, the club have been very informative about uh, the situation, what to do, what not to do, and even sent out some home tests for COVID-19 to test if you're negative uh, before coming out to the game, just for your own peace of mind. Today is about it's about Nuno, really. It's a dead rubber game. No one's really bothered about it. Um, his final game in charge after four seasons. It's been a been a roller coaster, hasn't it? Like I said, I've been his I've been one of his biggest critics this season, especially. I think the decision for the club and Nuno to part ways is the right one. I'm glad it, it's happened now rather than eight games into next season won't we, if we're still struggling. He finally get, he gets to have a good send off um, and you know he's, he's given me some of the most happiest memories I've had um, within the last the, 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 the last bloody well my lifetime really just by watching Wolves. So it'd be good to give him a send off and it'll be you know you know I'm sure I'm sure Wolves fans will be singing for him last time Nuno had a dream because I know I certainly will. I had a bit of a decision to make as well regarding the shirt. I've opted for this one, the away shirt from last season. Uh, probably one of the better Adidas shirts in my uh, in my opinion. Uh, some great memories in this shirt, of course, mainly the Europa League uh, away games last season and, and obviously some memories that will last a lifetime under Nuno. But yeah, I'm going to head off now and uh, fingers crossed Wolves can get three points against Manchester United and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Right, we've just got to Molyneux. It's um, it's a bit of a sombre feel, really. We, we, we'd miss the coaches coming in for, for for Nuno and the lads getting off off the coach. But I don't know. It feels. It feel, I mean, it's fantastic to be back. But at the minute, I think because it's so quiet, it feels a little bit eerie almost. But I'm sure once we're all in the stadium, had a couple of points. Uh, I'm sure the fans will be singing loud and proud. Teams are out now, it feels a lot more like home now, the fans are back in. About to get Ohio Silver lining, so here we go. Considering there's four and a half thousand here, as you can see, I've, I've lost my voice a bit, but um, yeah, it's, it, it's good to be back. <laughs> as, you <can> see. <laughs> as you can see, no face masks for me, I'm so, not getting bollocked for it, so I'm keeping it off, but I'm standing as well, so it's just fucking good to be back. Those were the days, my friend, we thought they never end. 
does forever and a day. We live the life we choose to fight and never lose. We are the wolves. Oh, yes, we are the wolves. Easy goal to concede, it was a ball down, down the uh, left hand side, simple cross, free header. It's, it's got to be got to be better than that. You know, like, the next season, whoever comes in needs to address the defence because it's simple, simple football and it's happened time after time this season. Defence is on its arse, so disappointing, but still a lot of game left to go. 1 1 1, sorry, I think Sabato's got his first Wolves goal in the uh, 40th minute, 39th minute, we'll take it 1 1. 1-1, Nelson Semedo, lovely accomplished finish. Uh, it's good to get him on the score sheet. I really rate him. A lot of fans have split opinion, but it's uh, <laughs> no social distance here at the Molineux. Uh, no, no, we are social distance, but we're both vaccinated, so... 1-1, <laughs> <laughs> great finish. Been a poor game, but it's good to see. Manchester United it looked like a soft penalty given by Mike Dean I think Matt has scored it but also doing okay but it's just uh, no real urgency you can tell like there's nothing to play for for both sides really so atmosphere is decent of course it's great to be back at Molyneux so hopefully we see a uh, second half goal for Wolves half time Man United 2 Wolves 1 um, a contentious penalty decision I've looked at the replay I don't know how he's given it, although I've only seen one replay of it. Typical Mike Dean, isn't it? He's had a lot of stick from the crowd and it's all about him. Uh, it's, it, is, it is the same nonsense, just a different season. Uh, but it's half time now, as you can see, the concourse is filling up a little bit. It's, um, there's, no, there's no kiosk open or anything, can't get a beer, can't get any food. Um, but Walsh have been in good voice, the performance hasn't been great. Um, but if, if anything, it's, it, like I say, as I keep saying, it's good to be back. And, yeah, I mean, the result's not going to stop me, stop us fans from having a good time, having a sing song. So, yeah, like I said, the concourse is filling up now. We've been told to stay in our seats um, if possible, but as you can see, I think people are coming down thinking they can get a beer, but obviously can't. So, yeah, so it's 2 1. Performance has been poor. poor. Um, Troy tr has gone off as well, which isn't good, but like I said, it's a bit of a dead rubber anyway. 
it's absolutely freezing yeah, in the North Bank. Army, but of course we've got we've got some fans in their top club. <laughs> I'm not getting involved, it's fucking way too cold. So that's the season done and dusted, guys. It's a, a shame to end on a defeat, but a phenomenal season overall, of course, back from Molyneux now. And uh, I think the organisation, everything about about today was uh, was spot on, really. It's, uh, like I said, shame about the result, but fantastic send-off for a manager that has given us the best memories, memories of a lifetime, really. And it's um, I, I'm not afraid to say that. I started tearing up towards the end there at the ground. So he's going to be sorely missed. Um, and of course, now we're on to the uh, next chapter. Shame about the result and performance, but same old story of all the, the rest of the season. Uh, the actual day was great. You all, everyone was reflective. Uh, everyone quite sad, and it almost like I'd attended a funeral. It was quite sombre, um, but I'm glad he got the send off he deserved. Uh, I think Walls organised the day really well. There's plenty of sanitising. Everyone was spaced out, really well communicated. But one wing thing I will bring up is the ticket price in forty to forty five pound is pure greed um, from the club. Uh, it, that, I, I couldn't believe it. I was disgusted. Um, still paid though, didn't we? So that's where the problem lies. Perhaps I'm part of the problem. Um, but it was great to be back. And I'm, I'm, next season, I'm going to make more of an effort to make a day out of it. Go for some beers before, some food afterwards like I did yesterday. Because you never know when's the last time you're going to be there. But absolutely fantastic to be back and really excited about next season now. But, you know, I appreciate all of your support uh, throughout the last season or so on this channel on Talking Wolves. Uh, it does mean a lot whenever you guys hit that like button, click play on a video and even comment and give your thoughts. You know, football is about opinions. Uh, some of the things that I've said this season, some of the things that other people on the channel may have said on the fans react, you know, you may not agree with it, but I appreciate, you know, we can always have a debate and just enjoy football because we've all got that one thing in common and it's that we all love Wolverhampton Wanderers. So um, here's to next season. Here's to hopefully a better and more, more successful season. Uh, but be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel guys, enjoy your summer and we'll see you all very, very soon.